Well, first of all, Lira, this matchup is very tricky because you need to rely on super, super big swing turn. There, there's no point of fighting back for the board right away because they, they have back steps, they have, they have the, the corridor creepers. If, if you are tr trying to trade the minions and kill them immediately, then this three five five will just hit the board. So, the way how I suggest to approach the matchup is to. Just relax at the beginning, take some damage, ramp a lot, and then prepare for this big swing turn with spreading plague and tyrant, eventual MC tech, and siege, siege the initiative. So that's how you should do. Does he have shadow step as well? Okay, he doesn't. That's good. Well, good. It's not a ter. It's not terrible. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, so now we can play Jade Blossom. There's a question in the chat, how important is Fundra if you don't have it? Uh, like, the Fundra is very crucial versus control decks. Because, like, the turn you are relying in the late game is that you play Fundra, then you play Jade Idol, then you play Nourish, and then you play two Jade Idols. So you basically develop three Jades and you shuffle, and you shuffle nine Jades back. So this is by far the best best, uh, you know, turn you can do in terms of developing the Jade, because turn after you have a lot of Jades in the deck, so you can play Auctioneer and play for the Jades. So, versus Warlock or other against other Druids or versus Seraza Priest, it, it really hurts you that you don't have any of this in your deck, while it's still pretty much playable with, with, without that. Mm, you just uh, lose a little bit in these uh, control matchups. Well, as you can see, I don't play Wrath anymore, so this interaction is away, so it's not, it's, you know, necessary. It's not by any mean. But yeah, I would suggest to play it. If you don't have it, you can play Malfurion, for example. It's very close, whether it should have, whether it should make a cut or you can play second MC tech, for example. There, there are a lot of options which, or direction you can go. Now I ramp twice, because I'm going to play Infestation next turn. And I can also play the Tyrant, so... Wow, that sucks. That sucks. It's also like pure cheating. I will cheat next turn as well, so... It's pretty fair. This is really aggressive. Like, this 4-4 can be really crucial this game. So now if I play, I'm at 15, I will be at 20, he has 10, 15 on the board. Well, there's nothing else I can do. Okay, I got an inner way, that's great, because I can now clear two minions. And I could probably kill 5-2, right, uh, rather than 4-4. Four, four. I definitely kill something, because I want to survive Leroy. Yeah, the 5-2 is probably more threatening. Yeah, like these Sphinx turns are really getting crazy because like the the Tyrant is now for free as well. So basically Infestation draw one card less but gives you 9-9 nine, nine instead, instead of 5-5 five, five. and this is, this is simply crazy. And that's why I feel it's not worth to do anything with the Druids, just healing, ramping and preparing these Sphinx turns. And, uh, set, setting it up with branching paths in a way, either surviving by he healing 12 or by drawing more cards, yeah. So because next turn we can just, for example, heal 12 if he will rely on Leroy or something like this. Or Like, I will probably just try to handle the board by value trading. So he probably has Bone Mare with... with uh, Okay, okay, he doesn't, he just have patches. So I can clear three, I can clear these four and leave him with the one, one to Firefly. If he draw a Leroy, I would die in case I don't use anything. But on the other hand, I kind of need to fight for the board. I don't need to draw with the Nourish, maybe. I can just heal 12, kill this 5-5, five, five, value trade, and play the Mark Keeper. That sounds legit. And I will draw next turn.
So now I will probably trade with the patches or with whatever. Mm. If he plays the bone mare and the uh, deal damages, this would be the worst. Oh, the minstrel is also very bad. Mm. Or very bad, like, yeah. Now he has resources once again, yeah. And, like the minions are also bigger because they are buffed by the prince. So the game is still not over, that sucks, yeah. It was maybe even better than, than the bone mare. Now it would be sweet if I can clear the board somehow. I can, if I want, yeah. So I draw. Okay, this was bad. Because now I completely blanked, yeah. I probably heal immediately, or do I? I, I will play Infestation next run for sure. And it's probably good because he cannot dagger it away, yeah. yeah it's not that great, but... What can you do? Like, the Infestation should be good enough. Okay, 7-6. Like, now it will not die. So I can finish the 7-6 with Infestation. Okay, now we're at 19. Yeah, next turn we can go Plague if we want. Like, it depends, like, but we should be fine now. Okay, the Slayer is obviously annoying once again. Oh God, this guy is fighting really, really badly. Or like, not the way I like it, that's how I mean it. Okay, so we are at 13. So we can play Plague. Like, we could just close our eyes and play Yogi, but that's not how I would like to approach this game. We could draw free with Nourish and play Branching Paths if we draw it. The question is, if what if we don't? If we draw all remaining cards. Okay, then we will just play the Plague, right? We could trade here, play the Plague for two. Okay, we can start with the Nourish, yeah? that sounds legit, yeah? Okay, we didn't draw the paths, that sucks. That obviously sucks. So... I can attack here, but this looks better, yeah. So now we should probably finally fizzle. Hopefully we will not play the Yogg this game, like, uh, that would suck. Like, if this trade will happen, the 5-1 into Bone Mare, then we should be completely fine, yeah? Are you serious? No, God, please, no! Okay, so what do we do now? We just play Plague and play MC Tech and shuffle free. The question is do we suicide first or not? Probably not. But the scenario, oh my god, like he's giving me hard times, yeah, that's, there's no doubt about it. But the MC Tech will be strong now, that's why, you f why, why, why I like it so much. Okay, the worst one obviously, so now we shuffle, or do we go with 3-3, free free? because we could have a lethal, if we trade, set 12, and we have 7-10, then we have lethal on a board, but we have still lethal on a board, I shuffle, and if everything goes wrong I will just play Yoke, oh, right? He has one out of, in terms of bone mare. Yeah. Like if he plays bone mare, I need to play oak. Yeah, that's how it is, probably. Okay, well played, him. 
Yeah, look, do you see MC Tech? How good it is? Oh, I okay, the worst one on this thing. This was too easy, I feel. But tomorrow, that will be a harder challenge. So if you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe button.